This clip is going to look at data handling, which takes lots of numbers and information and presents it in a way that's a little bit more used to us. There are three types of averages that we're going to look at that will help us analyse the information a little bit better. And these are the mode, the median and the mean. And we'll look at each of these in turn. I made up an example here to help me explain the mode, the median and the mean. I'd like you to imagine I have 10 pupils and I've calculated their age but in months this time. And I'm going to record this information on my tally chart. So, first of all, I have 1, 120, I have 125, 122, another 125, 124, 122, 125 again, 130, 128, and 124. And there should be my 10 values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's consider the mode first of all, as this is probably the easiest one to do. The mode, in fact, is the most frequently occurring value. So from my tally chart, I can see that here I have one value of 125 that occurs the most. It occurs three times. So in fact, my modal value here, my mode, is 125. So that's the first one done. The next one I'm going to talk about is the median. Now this one's a little bit trickier. This one takes all of your values and you have to place them in order of size, from the smallest right up to the largest, but it's also important to include all of the values. Here I have two lots of 122, so I include them both. Here I have two lots of 124 and three lots of 125, so it's important to include all of your values. Now the median is actually the middle value in all of these. Now here I have 10 values, and that's an even number, which makes it a little trickier. In fact, there are two middle values, these two here. So I have four values this side of the middle line, and four values this side. And in fact, it's common practice to actually take the middle in between these two. So in fact, the halfway point between 124 and 125 is 124 and a half. So in fact, that would be my median, the midpoint between these two. What if then I actually had an 11th value, an odd number of values? Well, in fact, there would be one specific value that would be in the middle. And in this case, it would be this little chap here. He would be my middle value, my median value. I have five values this side of him and five values this side of him. Now, our mean is our final kind of average, and I guess it's more of my, our traditional sort of average that we know. Our mean is simply all of these values added up and divided by the number of values. Now I've gone back to my original example of 10 pupils, so it would be all of this added together and divided by 10 would be our mean. Now I often find that pupils will have the correct method in adding all of this up and dividing by the number that's there, but however they do it, maybe use a calculator, typing in the values, the moment they get one digit wrong or out of place, the whole thing is shot to bits. One way of possibly reducing the errors is going back to your tally chart and actually working out your values here. So here I've got one lot, 120, two lots of 122, 244, two lots of 124, 248, and so on. So now I've got fewer values to add up, reducing the possibility of an error. So all I need to do now is add all of these up. So all of my values actually added together give me a total of 1,200 and 45. I then need to divide that by the number of values, which is 10, give me a mean of 124.5. So just to recap, my mean I've just worked out was 124.5. My median, my middle value, or my original example of 10 values, was also 124.5. And my mode, my most frequently occurring value that I had, was actually 125. So, is there an easy way of remembering what each of these actually stand for? Well, no, not really. But one way I often remind myself is I first look at mode, and it's almost the word most. So the mode is the most frequently, the most frequently occurring number. That's just a silly way of remembering that one. Median, to me, is almost the word medium and to me medium means middle so in fact the median is the middle number remembering once they're all in order so i often remember it as medium and the mean is the last one out of the three i hope that helps